Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So when I did that Bella Swan inspired makeup look, I had quite a few requests for other inspired makeup looks to do soon. So today's one that I've chosen is an Adriana Lima inspired look. Um, I've kind of gone for one of her more classic looks, very pretty and again I think a very a uh, nice one that everyone will enjoy as well. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Okay, so starting off with base, I'm gonna go in with my Handsome Pure Mattifying Primer. In the photo that I'm referencing, which I will pop on the screen just now, it does look like she's got relatively um, matte skin. So I'm gonna go for something similar. I let that soak in for 90 seconds before going in with my foundation. I'm going to go in with my Lily Lolo Cream Foundation in Cotton and go ahead and apply this to the skin using just a nice buffing brush to begin with. Then I'm going to go in with my Hint Beauty Concealer in Light just to conceal any areas that I need concealing. I'm actually just going to use my sponge for this is from Beauty Bay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set the skin, so I'm going to take the Handsome Pure Bamboo Powder for this. I'm going to take it on a setting brush, like my Real Techniques small setting brush to begin with, just for under the eyes and down the T-zone area, and then for the rest of the skin I'll just use a really fluffy brush just to give a light layer of setting. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Lily Low Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit because I want to really bronze up the skin. Obviously she's Brazilian so she naturally has that beautiful kind of bronzed tones to her skin tone anyway. So I just want to try and add something into mine. Just make sure it's a bit warmer than usual. Actually, using my setting brush again, I am going to take some down my nose a little bit. Not so much just to contour, I mean kind of, but more just to add a bit of bronze to that as well. Okay, sticking with this, I'm going to take the illuminator side now on a setting brush and just hit the very high points. Because in the photo it doesn't look like she's got too much highlighter going on, so I don't want to go overboard. A blusher. Now she, in the photo, it definitely looks like she's got more of a coral, warm tone blusher, which I think is great because I love that too. So I'm going to go in with Coralista from Lily Lolo. And I feel like hers is kind of high up on the cheekbones as well. So I'm just going to place that there. I mean, obviously we've got very different face shapes, etc. So it's going to not come out perfectly the same. But just more of an inspired look. Um, eyebrows. Her eyebrows aren't too dissimilar to mine. I think she's got less of an arch. And they're not super fluffy, but they're also not thin or anything like that. So I'm just going to kind of do what I naturally do anyway. I'm just going to go with my ABH palette for this. But I might just try and make the arch a little bit softer with mine. to the actual eyes. Again eyes are very simple but they kind of really, um, the shape of the eyes is really pretty and kind of elongates them so I'm just going to, before doing anything else, obviously going in and prepping and priming using Lily Lola Eye Primer. Now actually this is a good look especially at the moment where we're having to wear masks out and this really does emphasise the eyes so I think it would be really pretty. Okay. So in terms of in the crease, there's the photo that I'm looking at, I'm referencing, I can't see too much of what's going on the lid, but I don't think there's, it's more in the eyeliner and there's a nice shimmer in the corner. So what I'm going to do is just through the crease to give some definition, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow and shade there. Um, I'm actually going to use, sure, I'm actually going to use the Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit for this. Um, and just taking on a fluffy brush. Yeah. 
I'm just going in the crease. Like I said, just want to add a little bit of definition there. Maybe drag it into the bronze that I've got going on the skin. But yeah, just adding a little bit of something there just adds a little bit of definition. I don't want to go in too heavy with this. And obviously using a fluffy brush will make sure it's not too pigmented on the eyes. Okay, moving on to the eyeliner portion now. So I'm going to go in with Lily Lolo's black eyeliner. And it, she has, it doesn't wing out in this photo, but it definitely gets thicker towards the end and comes right in. And then she definitely got it in the waterline and wrapped it right into the inner corner and round. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I probably should give this a little sharpen first to make sure this is nice and precise. So I'm going to start off with the lid portion. So very thin in this inner corner. And then getting thicker just on this outer portion. This is just going to provide more emphasis on this outer portion, especially when you've got lashes. I'm not going to apply false lashes, I'm just going to build up my lashes like I always do. But it'll just help emphasise the outer portion of the, of the lash line. Now if you do go in a bit too thick, you can just tidy up. You can either grab a little bit of eye primer to help tidy up, or again, this stuff is quite creamy, so I should be able to get away with just doing it with a brush for now. And if I do make a mess like that, I can just go in with the eye primer and fix it. Okay, and then as you just saw, I just popped this into the waterline as well and brought it right into the tear duct area that she's got. So just wraps around, but it's not on the lower lash line. It's kind of more purely in the waterline. Um, okay, and then I'm going to pop the shimmer in the inner corner. And this is kind of brought up in, onto the lid slightly. So it's a bit more, um, not intense, but something a little bit more than just a pure inner corner highlight. Now I'm trying to find the right shade because hers does look a bit like a shimmer. Okay so I'm going to start off with this shade here from the Rose Quartz palette. This is Stardust and um, it's a very very light um, highlighting shade. There's no shimmer, it's more of a satin finish which is why I might go in with something else well but yeah I'm just bringing it onto the lid slightly so she really goes and just emphasizes this inner portion I'm actually gonna go in with Ether Beauty's highlighter in pure diamond dust so I think this would be the better option it does have a little bit of shimmer to it as well. Okay, lovely. I'm going to load up the upper and lower lashes with mascara. My Lily load a big lash for this. Okay, and then onto the lip. So she's got definitely more of a matte lip. It almost looks like a stain, like a smudge. It's not like a really um, opaque lipstick or anything like that so I'm just going to take off my lip balm quickly and then for lip she's I feel like she's got a peachy toned going on so I'm going to take my Ritual Defeat Inner Glow Cream Pigment in Delirium I'm just going to use my finger and just dab this on just to bring a little bit of colour to the lips but nothing particularly heavy because she definitely doesn't have anything particularly heavy on the lips Okay, and that is this completed look. So yeah, I just wanted to go for one of her more kind of classic looks and one that I think everyone would enjoy. Um, it was very hard to pick 
which look to do because she's got such a variety of different makeup looks and they all look stunning um, so yeah I just thought this one a lot of people could possibly recreate it's slightly more wearable like I said it does emphasize the eyes so I think especially at the moment we're wearing masks it's kind of a good look to go for so I really hope you enjoyed it thank you for the request um, please do keep leaving requests down below um, I don't always get to them straight away but I do try and make a big effort to do all requests so yeah just leave them down below thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video